It was a morning of celebration for the village of Inner Ohan. This is the, the moment that we have been waiting for. As a matter of fact, when the lights, when our community, our residents saw the lights last night, they were excited. Says, oh, it's about time we have, you know, we have our center back. Although there's fewer than 3,000 residents in her village, Mayor Doris Flores Luan says there will be plenty of action at the newly renovated facility that was originally constructed and designed by the U.S. Navy in 1925. Back then, the building served as a school with blackboards as dividers for classrooms. This is actually the main, the, the main core for the village residents to come here and, and network and, and, you know, have fun and we we'll have meetings here. According to Guam Economic Development Authority Board Chairman E.J. Calvo, the Inner Ohan Community Center restoration project is one of many landmark capital improvement projects ongoing island-wide funded through hotel occupancy tax bonds or hot bonds. We placed a high importance on these improvement projects for Guam. These projects do great things and keeping our past alive and preserving our history taking this project for example. We are restoring the Malesu Bell Tower, improving the Magellan Monument in Umatic, rehabilitating Plaza de España, and putting up new historic signs all around the island, as well as constructing what will be the crown jewel of the capital, our Guam Museum. In addition to today's ribbon cutting ceremony, Governor Eddie Cavo proclaimed the month of November in celebration of Inarahan as part of the My Village project. Throughout the month, the Inarahan Mayor's Office, along with the Office of the Governor, will provide outreach to villagers, including bringing government services directly to the southern homes. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.